Hello, and welcome to Network Diagram 101, where the left and the right side of the brain meet. Today, we're going to talk about tip number two, enhancing your type. Enhancing your type is an easy way to make your diagram interesting and to call out important information such as device names or IP addresses for management. I highly recommend sticking to the same font throughout the entire diagram and certainly one that is sans serif like Calibri or Arial. This is easier to read and looks much more professional. So we're going to start by zooming in on this router. We have some basic type here. I think what we want to do is let's make the name bold so we can either click the B up here. Control B for a quick key, or we can do a right click and hit the bold there. So here, right click, bold. We'll do the same for the IP address. I feel like that's important enough that we want to make that bold. And then I think the, the manufacturer model, we can uh, make that italics. So we'll do that there. So we stayed within this font family. We didn't change the different types of fonts, but we created some bold. We left some regular, and then we also created some italic uh, type. The bold suggests importance, italic maybe not so much, and uh, the, the regular type as is. So let's go a step further. We're going to enlarge the name of the device itself to make it stand out a little bit more. So here that we can do is go up here, and we'll hit that button there, and then also make this smaller. Uh, because it's not really as important as the other information. So we want to, while giving the information, just make that a little bit smaller so that it's not as prominent. So we're left with an enlarged uh, name. We have uh, the device type left as is, and we have italicized the manufacturer model, and then we have a bolded IP address. Last thing we want to do is under this paragraph button here to the right of the paragraph, a section up in your ribbon. We're going to click on that. We can go down to this line box right here. We're going to make that 100% to squeeze those together a little bit more. They seem a little airy, so we'll do that. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to justify all the type to the left side. Since it's on the right side of the device, it'll look much cleaner if we just justify left, move it over a little bit to take it off of the icon itself, and then we're left with a a nice little description for that particular device. So now let's apply what we did, just did there to the rest of the diagram that we have. So first thing we're going to do is let's justify left. We can do a quick key combination of that, either again by hitting the button up left side there, or we can do a shift control and the letter L. That'll all force it to the left. If we wanted to go to the right, it'd be shift control R, or if we wanted center, shift control C. So let's go back to the left. Let's move these off a little bit from there. This one here, I think we want to justify to the right since it's on the left side of the device the icon. We'll just clear that out a little bit there. So here we're going to go through the, the motions of what we did at the top. Bold, bold, italics. We're going to enlarge that. We're going to miniaturize that a little bit. So there we have that there. So there's not a real easy way to copy line for line the different styles. So uh, it's something that you can save this little description in as a, an icon for quick use later on. Or as you're building it, set that up and then duplicate it. So here we really have the same information other than just a couple different nuances. There's a different, obviously a different name for the device itself. They're both access switches, they're both Cisco 9407s, and their IP addresses varies by one in the last octet. So that's a pretty easy one to duplicate. So let's just go through this real quickly and do what we're doing for the rest. And then I think it would be easier to just duplicate that and then change those few different things that make it different from the other one. That's probably the fastest way, if you, if you have a scenario where you can do that. The last thing I wanted to do was demonstrate using color and type together in certain instances. I caution you to use it sparingly and not throughout your entire diagram, but there are certain instances where it is effective. In this case, I'm going to use it to describe the speed of the links between the devices. So here I'm going to select all of the speeds, making those the same orange as the links, and adding some boldness to it. 
It uh, keeps it from being distracting to the rest of the diagram while still giving information and tying it together with the actual links themselves. After our changes to the type, we can now compare it to the original drawing. And see the differences that it makes. Thank you for watching. And please give the video a, a like if you learned something. And please subscribe if you want to get the newest and latest videos. Thank you.